I swear this generation makes me never want to get into a relationship. So I was out last night at a bar with a few friends and I ran into a friend I used to know at uni, right? Let's call him Derek. Derek is with two of his friends. He introduces me to, let's call her Jane and Jessica. We all introduce ourselves. Hey, I'm Gabriel, nice to meet you. We're all just chilling, laughing, having a good time, right? So I start talking to Jane, who I think is very attractive. Now, as me and Jane were talking and kind of flirting and getting touchy-feely with each other, her friends were kind of looking at her and me and just like kind of giving us looks. And I didn't really know what that meant, but we'll find out later. And at this point, I think everything's fine, right? But then I go into the bathroom with my friend. I, and I turn around to him and I'm like, hey man, you know, Jane's actually like a pretty cool girl. I think, I, I think I'm going to ask her. Right? And he just looks at me like, dude, you know she has a boyfriend, right? And I'm just like, what? So I said to her, like, look, I didn't know, I didn't know you had a boyfriend and stuff. And she's just like, yeah, but like, just add my Instagram anyway. And I'm just like, bro, loyalty is just not a thing that exists anymore. So many people are just in relationships just because they're afraid to be alone, just so they have someone, but then they act single regardless. I know not everyone's like this, but you have to admit my generation or just the generation below me, it's just so normal. So, over 60% of Gen Z men are single, and intimacy is at a 30-year low across both genders. So, if you look at this graph right here, you see about 30% of U.S. adults are single. But if you go to the men age 18 through 29, that goes to 63%, compared to women in that same age group at 34%. What's going on here? After reading the article, no one fucking knows. They try to personalize it saying men can choose differently, but ultimately, it's a societal issue as the statistics indicate that. Men can do things differently, but if such a large portion of men are training in a certain way, it's a societal issue. But what do y'all think about this? Do men need to seek relationships at a young age right now, or should they just sit back and focus on themselves? Let me know. There's a prevailing belief among men that women primarily seek good-looking guys with financial stability, assuming they aim to either trap them with a baby or derive financial benefits. In turn, Women often perceive men as primarily interested in casual encounters, disregarding relationships and prioritizing physical attributes like looks, big butts, and big boobs. Despite this, there are individuals on both sides genuinely seeking long-term commitments and building a life together. Unfortunately, ongoing blame games persist, hindering any resolution. Even when women express a willingness to build from scratch with a less financially stable partner, Societal judgment, both from other women and men, often leads to criticism for the man being considered broke and the woman being judged for dating a scrub. Ultimately, internalized misogyny seems to play a role on both sides, creating a challenging dynamic. Until this internalized bias is addressed, a difficult task, it appears that both genders will continue to be wary of pursuing serious relationships, turning the dating pool into an uncertain and unpredictable experience. As for Generation Z, there seems to be a lack of clarity on the true essence of dating. It's essential to provide some insights into this spectrum. Consider dating as a spectrum, ranging from casual dating at one end to serious dating at the other. In casual dating, individuals meet up for coffee or engage in enjoyable activities without expectations or pressure. These dates could involve shared interests, such as attending a concert or exploring an art exhibition. After the date, they may mutually decide not to continue dating, remain friends, or consider progressing further, all without imposing pressure or expectations. On the serious dating end, individuals actively seek a partner, focusing on finding someone with specific traits and characteristics. They swiftly determine whether they want a relationship with the person or not. There's no middle ground, and if the other person has different intentions, they may be relegated to the friend zone. Each date in serious dating is dedicated to assessing compatibility for a potential relationship. Dating has undergone a significant transformation in the past two decades. The prevalence of social media apps and the omnipresence of smartphones have shifted the landscape, with many individuals more focused on their screens than on personal connections. Nowadays, it seems like females are more interested in having you buy content than in genuine dating experiences. The pervasive influence of social media has turned everyone into a phone zombie, disrupting family time and creating a Hollywood-esque mindset. In the pre-phone zombie era, people looked forward to dates with genuine enthusiasm, 
Whether it was roller skating, going to the movies, visiting the mall, enjoying an amusement park, attending a rodeo, bowling, having dinner out, or swimming at the lake, couples engaged in activities they both enjoyed. These outings provided an opportunity to bond and discover the limits of intimacy, creating memorable experiences and a sense of fulfillment. Life was simpler, and consequently, it was more enjoyable. However, the dating scene has drastically changed in the last decade. Dating has become a game where people test boundaries within a specific time frame. Online dating has contributed to the mindset that if there's no instant spark or connection, it's time to ghost and move on to the next prospect. The abundance of potential matches online has led to a disposable mentality, where connections are discarded without realizing that true bonds may take a few dates or hangouts to develop. The impatience to foster meaningful connections has made the dating world more challenging than ever. Moreover, the rise of hookup culture has further altered the dating landscape, rendering it seemingly undesirable and impossible. Dating has become the black sheep, overshadowed by a culture that values instant gratification over meaningful connections. While not everyone fully embraces hookup culture, many unknowingly adhere to its influence, creating a challenging environment for those seeking genuine connections. This shift may mark a significant turning point in the dating landscape, prompting deep reflection on the state of modern relationships. The concept of casual, non-committal, and ostensibly self-empowered sexual relationships has gradually been programmed, tested, embraced, and normalized. Even for those who attempt to distance themselves or rationalize their experiences, asserting that it's not entirely red, but merely another shade like pink, it remains a spectrum of similar dynamics. If you genuinely believe that hookup culture has benefited you in some way, it's essential to recognize that it often serves to confine rather than empower. It's akin to being imprisoned, falsely perceiving freedom because you're allowed a brief respite outside each day within the confines of an impenetrable fortress. In the era predating Gen Z, women had limited interaction and access to men within their community. The process was relatively straightforward. Women would attend religious institutions, and men would engage in the cold approach method. After spending time together, the man would meet with the woman's parents, culminating in marriage. The dynamics have shifted in the current social media era, where a woman's online allure can garner thousands of likes, fostering a perception of endless options and entitlement. This phenomenon has contributed to the emergence of MGTOW. In this Gen Z era, some men, even without direct dating experiences, have learned from others' stories and mistakes, while others, having been burned in relationships, have resolved never to repeat the experience. This encapsulates the evolving landscape of the modern dating scene. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership. You can also support through PayPal link in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.